Good morning, everybody. Um, I decided to get out and do a uh, a paddle over at Farrington Point on Jordan Lake this morning. Um, waiting for this little rain band to pass through, then I'm going to get out there. Um, done this section before with my with my wife and and wife Meredith and my uh, other kayaking buddy Steve a few times, but. I don't think, um, I'll show you this on a map here in a little bit, but um, I don't think we've ever done this one little nugget, this cove, um, kind of opposite of Lystra Road. And uh, me and Steve, I'm not sure if my wife's going to do this, but we're, at least I think we're going to do this at some point. We're, uh, we're going to kind of gradually piece together um, the various shorelines of Jordan Lake and just kind of circumnavigate it over time. We actually went out um, last weekend and did um, Farrington over to Parker's Creek boat ramp, which was about a five-mile stretch. I'll show you that as well. Um, so I just want to kind of be a purist here and go back and finish this little cove that I haven't been able to do before. Um, and then just come back over here to the boat ramp and probably call it a day and then we'll pick up with some other sections um, down the road. But I'll catch you guys here a bit when I get all my stuff ready to go and on the water. Alrighty, so I'm about to get out here on, the, um, on Jordan Lake. Uh, you can see my kayak down there to the left. Um, gentleman out here is doing some photography and videography, I guess. Fairly quiet morning, I guess with the rain that came through, everybody was kind of waiting for it to pass on through. Uh, somebody over here on a boat, probably doing some fishing, looks like to the right, just down from the uh, from the boat dock. But it's uh, um, kind of an overcast day, but I think the rain's passed through, so we're gonna head on out. For those of you who've never been over here, um, this is the Farring Farrington Point access and it's kind of nice because they have this one section where I am now where it's, it's for um, you know non-motorized vessels basically kayaks canoes paddle boards what have you and then right where that boat is to the right is the um, motorized boat ramp so it's kind of nice that they have it separated got somebody come in here and looks like a um, I guess it's a rowboat uh, anyway I'm going to kind of, the area I'm going is to the right of all this. You kind of kind of loop around the, the boat ramp over there and head back north, which is to my right here. And then that's the main channel looking out straight. Anyway, catch you guys here in a bit on the water. Alrighty, I'm all ready to uh, get out here on the water. Still pretty quiet out here, although a few folks have shown up since I've gotten here. So, uh... I'll catch you guys here in a few minutes when I get over on the other side of this boat ramp and uh, see if we see any any interesting wildlife or other such things. See you in a bit. Well, as soon as I get on the water, another little shower decides to come through, but I think looking at the radar, this is just going to pass on through here in just a few minutes. So I want to kind of hang out close to where I started just in case it decides to pick up a little bit more and I uh, thinking it was such a cool day and not much sunshine I didn't put on my spray skirt which I wish I had now I do have some rain pants on so that'll help a little bit here um, anyway we'll just see how it goes here but um, we could definitely use the rain as you can tell looking back over here the water is really low um, we haven't had much rain lately Anyway, taking a peek around this area. Some guys over here fishing to my left. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. There's several birds over here fishing. I can see an egret right in front of me. There might be a few uh, herons over here and an egret way over in the distance. And there's a, can't see them now, but there's a duck over here somewhere too. I might pop its head out of the water here in a minute. Anyway. Onward. Alrighty, so kind of looking here where this little dip is in the tree line. I'm pretty sure that's where this kind of this channel 
Uh, if you get left, it's the cove that I'm wanting to do today if the water's not too shallow. And then if you bear right, there's like a little um, tunnel. There's actually a proper name for it, but I'm gonna call it a tunnel underneath Leicester Road that kind of cuts across to this little small cove. And I'm guessing that's gonna be a no-go today, but I've already done that before, so I'm not too much worried about it if I, uh, if I don't make it today. Anyway, see you in a bit. Alrighty, we've gotten to the point where, uh, look over here to the right, see this little tunnel, as I like to call it. I'll figure out what the proper term is by the time I get this video edited. And then there's a little island over here that I'm probably going to scoot over to and take a little bit of a water break, snack break, pee break. And then this cove over here to my left, not very big, but I just haven't done it. I think the main reason was the last time or last times we were here, I think there were a fair number of folks over there fishing and we just didn't want to kind of disturb their uh, fishing poles. But it seems kind of quiet today, so maybe ideal day to head over there, but break time first. So now on this little island, which seems to get a fair amount of use, you can see some trash down here. I wish I'd bought a trash bag. Let's grab some of the stuff before I leave though. Place where someone built a fire. It's a nice little area. Um, little pathway down here. I'm not actually sure where you access this path. I'm guessing this is up on Lystra somewhere, but Anyway, um, there's a little cove. I'm gonna kind of scoot around here, there, just a little bit here or there, somewhere. And then we're looking back the way I came. Again, there's there's a kayak, and you can actually see there's our little tunnel, and you can see the Lystra. Uh, there's no traffic going over there now, but there's been a fair amount of traffic. Anyway, snack time and then onward. So I'm heading kind of right into the kind of heart of this um, cove, kind of right in the middle here. And you can see the shoreline's not too far in front of me. They're probably still a good half mile around and I'm not really at the shoreline. It's just too shallow to get much closer to the shoreline. Um, but I imagine if the water was up and you actually did like a true circumnavigation of the shoreline here, you probably would do close to a mile maybe. Maybe not quite that far. Anyway, I'm gonna turn on a, turn around here in just a minute when it starts getting too shallow and head on back to the main channel. Okay, heading back down towards Farrington that way, even though I'm drifting a little bit left here. Nice little rocky area here on the shoreline. Probably gonna run into some uh, some fishing boats here in a bit. I saw a couple on my left as I was coming out this way and I'm guessing they're probably still around, but it's not a big deal. I think we might have done this shoreline at some point anyway, but I'm gonna head back this way until I can get into some kind of situation where I need to move to the other side. Catch y'all in a bit. So I realize I haven't recorded any video of myself lately. It's all been the lake. But uh, anyway, uh, just kind of coasting along here, trying to get my hand out of the way. Um, you can see kind of over there, kind of where I was, barely. And uh, it's like the clouds are starting to thin out a little bit. You can kind of see behind me too. I'll get another shot here over in front of me. Um, here we go, just a minute. Alrighty, yeah, this is kind of looking over, kind of straight in front of the bow. Actually, a little bit to the right of the bow is the um, kind of that point that kind of curves back around to the both ramps and some folks out here, kind of in the almost the center of the channel doing some fishing. So I'm probably gonna have to scoot across a little earlier than I really want to, but we'll get closer and kind of see what they're up to and if I got. Room to get by on the right. Alrighty, got you soon. Alrighty, 
I think I got pretty close to where we cut across on our last trip, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna be that much of a purist. We were pretty close, I think, or I was pretty close to where we cut across last time. Uh, anyway, I'm heading back to uh, the uh, access here in a minute, crossing over. Uh, still pretty quiet day, a few boats out here and there, but overall pretty calm. Sun's coming out, it's gonna be a nice day. Just in time for me to get out and do some yard work this afternoon. Anyway, catch y'all back on the shore. Just had to get a shot of the um, the water over here with the sun kind of shining it down on it. It's really kind of beautiful blue, blue tint to it. You kind of see the sun starting to come out. Clouds are breaking up. All right, everybody. Um, all done here. About to load the kayak up on the top of the car finally put my shades on because the sun's pretty much more dominant now than the clouds are anyway um i think we did about i just saw it a few minutes ago but i think we did just a tad under four miles today um so five miles last weekend and then uh about four miles today so uh, good to get out Weather's really turned out to be nice today after that rain passed through. I'm gonna head on home, get some lunch, and shift gears to other chores around the house. Have a good weekend.